Hi everyone. In this short little video, I wanted to show you how you can create your account with WebAssign. So the first thing to do is you need to go to WebAssign's website, which is found at webassign.net. That is a .net instead of a .com, but the good news is if you go to webassign.com, you'll find webassign.net. You're probably going to want to bookmark this page so you can come back to it in the future as you work through your homework throughout this semester. The uh, the first time you're here, you're going to want to click the button here that says enter class key. On all times in the future when you return to WebAssign, instead click login because you've already created your account there. So this time we're going to hit uh, enter class key. And so what's going to pop in front of you um, is going to be the Cengage login. Cengage is the publishing company, parent company that owns WebAssign. So you have to first have a Cengage account. If you already have a Cengage account, then please type in your email hit next to enter your password and then hit login. And then you'll 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 uh, use your class key in just a second. As most of you probably have not created an account with WebAssign yet, um, you're instead gonna hit click create account. That's gonna be like 99% of the students you're gonna have to create an account. So you're gonna be a student. So make sure you choose the student option, enter an email. Um, this has a unique email. That is to say no other WebAssign a Cengage user should have used that email. It should be unique to you. This does need to be a valid email. Uh, it'll ask you to validate uh, the email in a second by sending you a confirmation email. So you can't finish your account until you've logged in and checked. Uh, that link would be valid for 24 hours. So you're gonna wanna do that. And then it'll ask you for like, what's your name? What's your password? Uh, where do you go to school, your institution at Southern Utah University? Uh, what year were you born? Nothing, nothing that they're going to steal your identity with, but there's a little bit of information that you need to know. Uh, fill that out, uh, select the, you, you, you've read the terms of use and private policy. Uh, they won't let you finish unless you've done that or not. Uh, there's also a click that's like, do you want promotional emails? That's up to you. I'd probably say no. And so then create your account from there. Uh, since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in and I'm going to skip that in just a second. After you've created your Cengage account or just logged into it, you'll come to the following screen, which is going to ask for that class key, or as they call it, the course key in this situation that uh, we were talking about earlier in the video. This will change from semester to semester. So go on to Canvas or to the course syllabus and copy and paste uh, the class key for the class you're trying to register right now. I'm just going to already have a copy and paste. You enter that, then you hit register. Then it's going to be like, oh, which class? Is this the class you're supposed to be into? So let's see, Math 1210, Andrew Misseldine, Southern Utah University. Uh, so make sure that's the correct class that you're trying to get into. Again, depending on, this, depending on the class, this information could change. So don't worry about it if it doesn't match up in this video. Uh, but you'll just want to check to make sure you're getting into the right class. And then hit confirm to register. You'll see this swirly wheel of loading happening. Uh, then once that's done, you should then be into WebAssign, uh, which admittedly, again, you're, there's, there's, uh, you're going to see the Cengage stuff on the left. You don't need that. You can minimize that if you don't need to, if you don't need to see it. Really, uh, what you're going to see now, there's there's one thing you should be aware of. There's going to be this uh, access code they're going to want you to purchase, right? Uh, the access code is actually, uh, the access code will have to be purchased online. You can click here to purchase it with an online purchase, use a credit card, debit card, PayPal, whatever you do, whatever you use for online purchases. Now for the first two weeks of the semester, you will be able to access WebAssign without, uh, without purchasing the access code. So if you don't have the money yet, or you're not sure um, if you're going to stay in this class or you just want to procrastinate, it doesn't matter. Uh, you don't need to purchase the access code until uh, after 14 days of the semester. Now that's the start of the semester. That's not from when you created your account. That's when the clock starts ticking there. All right. And so now we've seen how to create our WebAssign account. And so next thing to do would then be click in my assignments and you can get started.